UConn soccer advanced to the Sweet 16 Sunday, defeating 16th-seeded University of Maryland Baltimore County in penalty kicks. It was an away game, you know. It was very cold, but we tried not to make that a big factor. We had 20, 20 degrees, 30 mile out winds. The wind chill was at zero. You know, they had a huge crowd. It was like a high school game because they don't have bleachers, so they're all around the field. I mean, they had a pretty good crowd, you know. They were going against us, you know. So we were going into the game with no pressure. We deserve this game. We deserve it because, you know, we went there. We were ready for the call. We were ready to win this game because we wanted more. And I thought our guys just went in and handled the stress of the moment pretty good. We were already on the dogs. Everyone is expecting UMBC to win. So, you know, we just go into the game, relax, and we just went and play soccer. The whole team you know, gave everything they had to come back with the three points. So I think those, it's just a playoff game. We did enough on Sunday, and now we got to get ready for next Sunday. Next Sunday, the Huskies take on UCLA at Drake Stadium in Los Angeles. The top-seeded Bruins are 12-3-4 and four overall and boast Pac-12 Player of the Year midfielder Leo Stoles. The Huskies are unseeded going into the tournament, but are unbeaten in their last 16 games. It should be a good game, you know, their number one C we're going is in us there. The underdogs, which I don't have a problem with, you know. Over the past two years, we've been, you know, the top ranked teams, and, you know, we have nothing to show. So, how about switch it up for a little bit? They're a very good team, UCLA. We're just, we're going to go out there. We're just happy to be there, and we're going to try to compete. At the end of the day, you just have to do what, whatever, you know, whatever it's take to win it. And I think, you know, it's tournament time. Guys are ready for it, you know, because we've been through this for a couple of years. Now we know. Every game is the same, you know, we always expect to win games, but you know, it's soccer, so it's not guaranteed to no team. It's a team that played a better soccer in the day with a little bit of luck, so, you know, it's nothing different. The expectation is to go and play some good soccer and make a better team win. Now, if you look at the team, people are more comfortable because every single person knows his role in this team now, and that's the biggest thing. And now, you know, we don't need to do too much. We just have to get up there and do what we can do because we know we can play. we got great leadership in the senior class and the junior class. They've dealt with adversity all year. They're very focused. They're great kids. you got all the elements of what you need for a good senior class, for sure. Joining the experienced upperclassmen are a handful of talented and very productive freshmen, including the American Conference Rookie of the Year, Kyle Lahren. We're going to compete with UCLA. They better play as juniors. Um, but they've matured. You know, And the big thing is... This is our sixth elimination game, three in the conference, three in the NCAA. Those games go light years for young players, so we've been in five times with guns away ahead, now we're going to the sixth. They're no longer freshmen, you know, they've been here for how many games, you know, so we just try to help them along the way, we try to guide them, you know, and it's postseason, you know, we don't, we don't expect them to make the big plays. If they do, then we'll take it, you know, but we try to cover them on their wings and we try to guide them and to just bring them in wherever they can help. We'll be thankful for it. Kyle Lyon has been very good for us. Kwame Awa, Jake Nowinski, Adia DeGrocker as a transfer, Alex Sanchez, all been very good. Maybe our best freshman, Ethan Decker, hasn't played all year with a stress, couple stress reactions. You know, those five guys, the future of the program is fantastic. All we have a saying, which is like, you keep building. So every day you try to better your last performance, whether it's practice, whether it's a game, you know. So I try to stay on the guys and I try to keep them motivated because, you know, we're college kids, so sometimes we tend to lose it. So I just try to keep them going, try to keep them focused, and it's been working, which is good. <laughs>